Alright guys, so taking a look at this LED lit mirror, uh, basically, real quick, just to get it out of the way, let me show you something here. The plug, you can see this is the plug, and this is an adapter. So until they get around to making the change, which I imagine will happen at some point in the future, but uh, this is not going to fit a regular outlet. So they're going to be sending an adapter with this. You can see here it's just a small adapter. It's going to convert this over. I think it's a NEMA 16, but it's going to convert it over to just a standard US outlet. So that will be included uh, at least temporarily until they get to a point where they're uh, changing them out. So this is the mirror. I Unfortunately, this is not something you should be doing, sitting it up on its edge like this, but it is explosion proof and it is pretty, uh, you know, thick glass. So really not going to hurt it where I'm doing right now, but not the ideal thing to be doing. But that's why I'm leaving this plastic film over top. And this thing is actually sort of warm right now. So steam is not really an issue because it has an anti-steam function, which I can turn off right there. And if I touch the power button, you can turn this off, on, and you can see the color. So three different levels, and then back off again. And then you have these blue LEDs, so very easy to find what you're looking for. Optical clarity is very, very good. Again, explosion proof glass, so not a problem. Um, I'm just leaving this on because of the fact that um, I can't unfortunately I, I absolutely love the way this mirror looks this sort of frosted uh outside edge here and everything and it's like a 32 inch round mirror it actually comes with some paperwork some information and some uh hardware for hanging it and it has a little metal i don't know if i can show you the back here so it has a metal clip or hook right there if you will LED strip you can see surrounding it so that's what you do to hang it and the big problem that I've run into is whoever put the mirror in this place originally has sort of glued the entire thing so I'd have to rip and tear up the entire wall so I'm gonna have to rethink the idea of putting this mirror up or maybe find a different place to put it somewhere maybe I just won't put it in uh, that spot there is another area that I can maybe put it into but I just wanted to share this with you because I think it's just an absolutely beautiful option. I say I love this frosted outside edge. I think it's 32 inches, so it's got a pretty good amount of space coverage. And this little uh, anti-fog function works really well, uh, just because of the fact that the mirror itself, well, it's not really as warm right now. It's a little bit warm steel, but it actually warms and heats the mirror so that as the warmer and colder air you know that causes the fogging it well it won't because the mirror itself is actually warm so you could actually turn that on just a couple of minutes before you jump in the shower and probably be fine uh, even for someone who takes really really hot showers I'd say give it a few minutes to warm up before you start um, just because you know if you start to get some fog on the mirror initially you know it's a little harder to get rid of uh, depending on how long your showers are some people are really quick about it so but if you do it like you know just maybe two minutes or one minute you know just give it, just give it a little bit of time it heats up relatively quickly um, it's not super super hot but it's nice like warm to the touch as opposed to uh, being colder and it's more like in the center area that, that I can feel it so anyway I just wanted to give you a really quick look at this I really wish I had it on the wall could show you what it looks like on the wall but you can see that, you know, it's got that sort of a, a yellow type warm light, the cool white light and different intensities and then off. And that blue actually can serves as a nice little uh, almost night light effect, but it doesn't put off a huge amount of light. But that may be annoying if you have uh, a bedroom that looks into a bathroom where you can't, you know, keep that out of line of sight. But other than that, I think it's beautiful in the color blue so I like that but yeah I just wanted to share that with you it's gonna sit like you know a little bit off of the wall because as you saw when I showed you the hook on the back um, you know it's got a little bit of width and that gets the uh, puts the sides here so that there's a little bit of a gap between here and the wall 
So keep that in mind. But uh, this company has some really nice mirrors. This is just like my favorite as far as the way it looks and everything. Uh, keep in mind it's going to be an adapter at least you know until they make some switches on the plug at some point. I imagine that will sometime happen. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you really quickly, kind of show you what this looks like when it lights up, what it looks like as far as the actual controls. And it's super easy, you know, it's just a touch. And it's very, very responsive. It works every single time. Uh, the only time it hasn't worked is when I kind of miss to the side because I'm looking at it at an angle um, and with my vision issues. But anyway, I just want to share that with you really quickly. Obviously, you want to peel, peel off all this plastic. It's very clear glass. There's no... Uh, scratches or anything else to the actual mirror laminate that goes on the back that causes the uh you know the mirror to function as a mirror so yeah just really really nice and everything hopefully i can find a place to put it or maybe figure out a way to get the other mirror off the wall without tearing the entire wall apart so check out the link below check out some of their other mirrors if you're looking for different ones they have a lot of different options available okay that's pretty much it all right thanks for watching